So let's kind of dive in for people who haven't heard kind of some of these terms like cellular regenerative medicine and PR sure. and stem cells. Break that down in the easiest way you can and sure. as practically as you can of what are these things and what do you sure. So where the treatments initially started was with what's called prolotherapy which basically uses dextrose, which is a sugar that's in all IV fluids. So if you've heard of D5W or D5 half normal, the D is the dextrose. And when injected into the body, it sets off an inflammatory cascade where it'll pull in cells to heal things. So that's kind of where regenerative medicine started. And then some uh, dentists and or some plastic surgeons started using blood and or what's called platelet-rich plasma or PRP. We take out the blood from your arm or wherever you get it, you spin it down to the platelet level, and then you take the platelets and inject them back into any specific tissue that you're trying to change. And the platelets are kind of the um, cells that come in when you injure yourself. So when you cut yourself, you break your leg, you do any that sort of thing, the platelets come in, they kind of stabilize that area, cut down on any bleeding, and they kind of help release growth factors and other things to tell your body what to do to try to heal that. And that's the good type of inflammation. Most of the time we're hearing about inflammation, we want to quell that or uh, calm it down from a chronic standpoint, which I agree with. We can talk about a little bit more in detail. But this is more of acute inflammation, which you're trying to heal the tissue. And it's very beneficial for a good number of things, but can be beneficial for things like joint issues like osteoarthritis, can be helpful for cartilage tears or injuries from that standpoint. Soft tissue problems like tendons or ligaments can be helpful for things like uh, turning over your face. So if you've heard of uh, the vampire procedures like the vampire facelift or the vampire facial, it's basically using PRP to do that. And then there are even options for sexual health like what's called the O-shot or P-shot, where you take it and inject it, in, excuse me, inject it in the sexual organs. For men, it's very good for erectile dysfunction. For women, it's very good for folks that have had incontinence issues or problems with orgasm or thinning of the tissue and some of the other pieces from that standpoint. 